We started looking at ways we could repurpose ourselves to maybe help health care that seemingly was going to be so short of supplies. So the first thing we did uh, was to start using our alteration personnel to make masks. The very first ones we did, like everybody else, were just material. And then we found that we could easily add a HEPA filter to every one and have a reusable uh, mask with a HEPA filter that reduces um, exposure on anything larger than 0.3 microns, which is pretty good. Um, that's, that's really that's what I want my family to wear. And we're doing some barrier gowns for our local hospitals and healthcare communities. They're the gowns for the OR department for the doctors to be able to wear and be able to reuse. It's, there's a shortage of gowns for them to wear in the OR department. This was the first one I got. I had some people tell me, it looks a little bit too clinical for what you guys are doing. <laughs> but I didn't care going to the hospital, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hospital, nursing home, we didn't care. But for service, you want something a little bit. Yeah, that, that's, that's much we'll better. We just cut that but, stuff but in there. Stay. So you want six, you want six at all? Yeah. We've been trying to accommodate those as we can, but to, truthfully right now we're taking orders. And as they finish them, they bag them, put the customer's name on them, and tell them when they can pick them up. I come to get one of these good masks that uh, Mr. Wade makes over there. Thirty-two dollars. Hey, you, you take the card? Yes. Uh -huh. and, I, and I, my wife's been coming here for years, and uh, and I appreciate the mask that this man makes. And so, uh, is it replacing the revenue that we've lost? And no, no, maybe a fraction. But it is helping the community. Uh, it is giving our team members a sense of purpose and that, that they're helping people and that they're uh, helping the business as well.